Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Knight's Kingdom construction figure review, and this one is on uh, Drekus and Sir Adrek from 2006, of course. Yeah, 2006, of course. So we'll start off with the canister, which just about like the like the main four of this wave, of course, where it's all uh, uh, solid metal. Which I explained in the last review, of course. But also a little bit different for that, where now there is which a, which in the background is just a, a stormy night with thunder behind him. Quite cool. But aside from that, do you have a picture of Dracus in a striking pose and own the logo right there? And also with Lego logo, has 38 pieces. And on one side, which had the Lego and Knights Kingdom logos again, and also set number 8705 has 612 pieces. And on the back side, which, which does have some rocky terrain into it, as opposed to like the good guys, which had chain mail to them. You have another picture of Drekus and the two features of him Lego.com and also, all the figures of this wave and usual warnings and Lego group and underneath is where the clones are made and a scanner code or barcode, of course. And on the top, that was a dragon and a yellow top. Very cool. And of course, inside the look of it. And that's about it with the canister. Now onto the man instruction manual, which same picture as on the front of it and everything. And the or and but also these little uh, drawing pictures of him finding Kentus, of course, or Sir Kentus, of course. And also front page, which which has the pieces included and on instructions and. Then have the last building steps and the features again, and how to put them back in the canister. And add for all the figures of this wave, and, and add for all the system sets that there were at the time, or minifigure system sets at the time, and also the little comic strip showing the story of it. And also, if you want to admire any of this, pause the video. And then out of Lego Club and Lego Shop at Home, and how to win on the online survey. And also a ad for free Lego Magazine, Lego Club thing that you can like fold out, and also have the business reply mail kind of bit to it. Since, and if for those of you nowadays, not so familiar with older sets. Well, this is how you assigned it in the year, in the nineties through two thousands at this time. But nowadays, if you are if you are to join a mailing list, you just go online and do so. And that's about it. So first up is Sir Adrek. Well, at least from first glance, does have just about some of the same things as Sir Kentis, but at least has a different color scheme than that. But also it does feel kind of a bit close to Sir Santis, but still different, of course. So like for the legs here, of which as you can see, all of which the same as Sir also the same as Sir Kentis, or as all the figures of this way line, of course but with dark gray and red limb pieces and foot piece in red and also the joint pieces in white, quite interesting. And also this leg armor piece, just like we saw with Sir Kentus, of course. So I've had attaches with uh, reverse studs rather than technic pinholes, of course. Okay. 
leg armor, same as all the rest of it. And as for the torso piece, also the same as Serpentis, but instead of dark green, it's in light red. And of course, it does have the chainmail detailing into it, very nice. So, and as for the arms of which, same as all the figures of the line, well, minus the shoulder armor. And of course, and of course, it does fit on quite snugly, and of course, Good to have for mocking in Bionicle, of course. And his main weapon, which is this battle axe, which does feel kind of like Axon's axe from Bionicle, of course, but at least it's a little bit different, a lot smaller than that, of course. But, and of course, this you can definitely use on some Bionicle Hero Factory mocks if you wanted. And as for his shield, of which which just felt like the 2000, other 2005 six figures, of course, but at least does have some, uh, has had this symbol of a bull's face etched onto it. Quite cool, of course, and also four studs in the center, obviously. And as for the mask and head, which, as you can see, Kind of a unique shaping to it, like compared to like most knights masks, and from the side view of which it does look quite flat and even on one side, of course. And also like the other masks of this wave, it does have a plus hole on the top part of it. Quite interesting, and of course, nice to see, usable for mocks, mocking, of course. And it flew up, and you see his face print on. It which minus the helmet or the mask which does have some nice detailing to it with the yellow print of course and also a little different thing that is not present with the other figures is a little metal armoring bit on top of which probably represent make it look like it's an under half part of the part of the mask of course and attaches like the others of course and the back side of which just about like the other figures of the line, or some of the other figures, well, from the past, last, previous year, of course. And of course, like them, which it has two different spots where you can squish up and down, of course. And that, and now that is about it with Sir Adric. And now on to Sir Kentis. Uh -huh. Also, quite interesting, great one. Which also see another evil one, and also good to see one that has this yellow color scheme. Quite interesting. And also, same deal as Adrek Kentis, kind of similar to Carzon, uh, but with different recoloring and different mask, of course. So like for the legs of which does have the traditional foot pieces but in a yellow very inter quite nice and interesting. And also same armor pieces as we had with with uh, Karzon and we'll also have Vladic of course or Lord Vladic this time around of course. And as for the upper legs of which which do have the same exact uh, pieces as the others, but in yellow, of course, and also just like what Ad or Carzon, or I mean, yeah, Carzon also had, is those pieces with a marbling effect to them, which was a common thing from this time. And as for the body piece, which just about the same as Drakus, but instead of a copper uh, feel to this chest plate, instead it's silver to that. I'm uh, not sure if it's like laziness or whatever, but as for the arms of which, same as from as the other figures of which, and also new shoulder blade armor piece, but also with the marbling effect, also great for mock making, of course. And lower armor, lower arm bits of which in yellow. 
and also this sword here, which also nice for mocking. And although Quint is just the same as Sir or uh, Santis from the prior year, of course, but at least it's in silver instead of metallic blue, of course. And that's for the other weapon, which is the shield, oh, which, which, as you can see, it works. See, which is comprised of the main color schemes of black, yellow, and silver, at least. This, which does have some like wood texturing, uh, molds are sculpted into it, and also this whole really cool dragon logo or symbol etched into it with four studs on it, and of course, bolting around as well. All of which still quite cool for that. And as for the mask and head part of which, which as you can see. Very interesting how this put like some more open space to it so you can kind of see some bit of the face in there. And also have some nice texturing to it, of course. And also quite flat from the side view, of course. And also does have the like plus rot hole in there, like the other figures of this line, of course. And if like flip up, and there's his face print, which has kind of a peeved look to it, and also kind of, th and also the thick eyebrows and the red eyes, since to signify his him being more evil, of course. And but also the headpiece on a yellow headpiece, a little different than the other figures, of course. And as for the body, or backside of him which is just about the same, as, or quite similar to most of the other figures, and like the year one figures, just one feature, lever feature of it. Then you can squish it up and down like so. So, at least done quite well, of course. And so now for my overall grip on these two. But overall, I think these of which are quite cool sets for the time. Like, at least you get a, a red character that is not Santis, or and also have a character with some yellow uh, to him, which will so at least good to freshen up a little bit, of course. And also nice to see a little axe piece to the his is included if you're to like make a shorter version of Axon or whatever. Well, Axon for Bionicle, of course. And also, so uh, what else? And also get to see some different shield pieces as well. And and of course, but although as for Dracus, I think he's a little less evil looking than Dracus than Carzon, but. At least I can kind of forgive how these are, but yeah. <clears throat> Although, despite their like body pe torso pieces being kind of the same as the other two of which, but at least still better than nothing. But it also good to see some color variations, and yeah. And so now, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.